take a few minutes to uh, review with you uh, what happened during the visit, and and I'd be happy to take some questions from you as well. Uh, it was a, a very positive and an extremely productive visit by Prime Minister Joma to Washington. The visit uh, strengthened the bilateral relationship between the two countries, and it brought that relationship to a strategic level. Uh, I think you're aware of um, most of the schedule, but I'll just quickly review what, um, what, what he did there. Um, in the meetings with the administration, he saw, of course, President Obama at the White House. Uh, at that meeting, um, it was also attended by Vice President Biden, uh, National Security Advisor Susan Rice. Uh, the Prime Minister also met with the Secretary of the Treasury, Jack Lew, and he met with the Deputy Secretary of State, uh, Bill Burns. Uh, in the Congress, um, the House Majority Le Leader, Eric Cantor, hosted a, leader hosted a meeting with the leadership uh, from both parties. And in the Senate, uh, the Prime Minister met with um, Chairman Menendez and, and the rest of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The Prime Minister was also in New York. He spent a day there um, meeting business, business leaders, including the heads of Google and Microsoft. Uh, in Washington, he also saw many business leaders. There were events hosted by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the National U.S. Arab Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Prime Minister also spent time um, with universities and uh, think tanks in New York. He met with groups from Columbia University and Cornell University. And in Washington, he did an event at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Uh, also, he saw the leadership of the World Bank and the IMF, um, aside from his meetings with, uh, with American officials. The, uh, the centerpiece, of course, was the meeting between the President and the Prime Minister. It was a very cordial meeting. The conversation dealt with many issues in, in great depth. Uh, the, two, the two leaders discussed the political transition in Tunisia, the economic and security challenges that are faced by the country here in Tunisia, and in ways in which the United States can help. Uh, the, the discussions in, in that meeting are highlighted in the joint statement uh, that was issued by the White House and the fact sheet that accompanied that. Both of them are available if you haven't seen them. Uh, I also wanted to highlight the meeting um, that President Obama and, and Prime Minister Joma had with 10 Tunisian students. These are the Thomas Jefferson scholars. Uh, they met immediately after the meeting at the White House in the, in the Rose Garden outside the Oval Office. Uh, the two leaders spoke uh, with each of the students about their studies and about their hopes for Tunisia. It was an extremely impressive group of students. Uh, for us, this Thomas Jefferson Scholarship Program is a flagship program, uh, and the meeting that the President and the Prime Minister had with the students Reflect, reflects the importance of this program for both sides. And because of that, we recently added, added money to expand uh, the number of scholarships that will be available in the future. The 3rd of April, the first ever meeting of the U.S.-Tunisia Strategic Dialogue. This structure uh, institutionalizes a high-level discussion in three working groups um, on the economy, on security, and on other forms of partnership. Uh, we intend to hold this dialogue now on an annual basis. The next meeting will be here in Tunisia. Second, as you know, the President uh, announced that we would provide a guarantee for Tunisian loans um, of up to $500 million. Third, we announced uh, the intention to relaunch discussions under the Trade and Invest Investment Framework Agreement, TIFA, to explore ways to promote bilateral investment and to liberalize the trade of goods and services. This meeting will be held in June uh, here in Tunis. Fourth, uh, we, we discussed additional steps to promote U.S. investment in Tunisia, uh, including efforts to accelerate the work of the Tunisian American Enterprise Fund and to organize an, an, a Maghreb <coughs> investment conference in Tunis in October. Uh, I'd also note that um, Recently, we lifted the U.S. travel warning um, for Tunisia. 
Uh, we also, uh, in, in the discussions last week, agreed to intensify cooperation on security matters. This will include additional training, equipment, exercises, and the sharing of information. In terms of people-to-people -people contacts, as I mentioned, we would be adding additional funding for the Thomas Jefferson Scholarship Program. We're also looking at the possibility of new educational and university exchange programs, which are now uh, being developed. And finally, um, we, we decided to conclude as quickly as we can a bilateral agreement on cooperation in science and technology. Overall, from, from the U.S. side, I'd say we were, we were very pleased with the visit, and we are grateful for the efforts of Prime Minister Joma and his team to advance the bilateral relationship between the two countries. I'd add that this successful visit came about as a result of the national dialogue process that produced the new constitution and the installation of the new government here in Tunisia. Thus, this visit was a success not only for Prime Minister Joma and his team, but for all Tunisians that supported the national dialogue, and it reflects the progress that we have seen in recent months to advance the political transition here in Tunisia.